The preparation of tooth number 18 for an occlusal amalgam restoration. Using a high-speed handpiece with a modified pen grasp and a 245 burr, begin your preparation by following the central groove. Notice the groove isn't straight across, so follow the anatomy of the groove. Be sure to keep the burr parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Start following the lingual groove and the buccal groove and maintain the integrity of the cusps by following around them and not flattening them. Blow off the dust with an air syringe when it becomes difficult to see. Follow the anatomy of the tooth into the distal pit and mesial pit rounding the cusps and deepening the preparation. Pay attention to the position of the handpiece. Keep the burr in the same plane. Try not to wobble the handpiece and burr side to side or up and down. Smooth the floor, smooth the walls, make sure there are no sharp or flat walls. The pulpal floor measurement should be 1.5 to 2.0 millimeters from the cavo surface to the pulpal floor depth. The width of the prepared tooth should allow convenience in placing the restorative material. The walls should flow and be smooth. The floor should also be smooth. When evaluating your final preparation, the floor should be uniform and smooth, and the walls should be smooth and flowing.